Hey, we're doing weddings now, so we're going to fly out if you're in the States. Fly out, Mrs. H does your flowers, and I'll give you a shave. All right, just put us up for the night. <laughs> Welcome to Sunday, um, and I hope uh, it's as happy for you as it is for me. Nice to have the weekend here. Okay, so new soap um, and various products, really. Oh, a new brush. Right, razor, first of all, is going to be this. I don't usually use the same razor within a week or two. The Edwin Jagger 316. I'm so impressed with this, and I've been dying to try it um, with the blades it was supplied with. So this is the 316, 316 uh, stainless steel. That's what it's made of. And um, beautiful razor. So in there is a feather, a feather blade. And what can't speak, can't lie. Very little overhang. And there it is. Unmarked, is it? Well, there is some print, but you can't see it. Brand new blade. Quality in the hand. Very, very slight overhang. Brush came. It's uh, we're using soap, and this brush is Abate Elamantea from Italy. Now the brush was wrapped in this very beautifully wrapped, and. It's the first time it ever happened to me, this, and I'll show you the brush. This is a, a sort of special edition brush um, with their logo on the bottom, if I can get this right. I'm not wearing glasses at the moment because uh, it, it was shining off the light. Uh, if you can see that, their logo there. Uh, it's uh, y A Y L M on the bottom. Um, nice colour. It's a bore brush, noble bore hair is used for this bore brush. Um, but what I'll say is the first time ever a brand new brush out of the box and it smelt divine. I'm not sure if it's the cro Crocus it's called, uh, the Crocus brush. Of course they do the Crocus soap which I've used and it was a beautiful scent. And I'm pretty sure that's what the scent on this is so I should have used this with that soap really. I will do in the future. But just fantastic to have a ball brush, brand new, dry, scent was... I couldn't believe it. I thought somebody's used it. <laughs> this is a nice effect. Beautiful. Smells nice now, even though it's been soaking. So put that back for a minute. And here we're, we're using Abate Elamantea Mone. The painter, the artist. And um, it's water lily in scent, so it's a floral scent. Hence, we've got some, they're not water lilies, but we've got lilies there, so it's very apt. Thank you, Mrs. H. Good quality soap. It looks like um, it's dark soap, dark brown. Very sort of treacle-like quality. It's beautiful. And the scent. I am not a floral type person, really. I like the musky, the barbershop, colony, aftershave type scent, strong. But I must say that is nice. That is a nice scent. Um, and they come in beautiful tins as well. I like I like that. So money, and they come in these boxes. By the way, if you ever, um, if you ever buy one, so you get top end quality, and when you finish, you can put that on the garden for the birds <laughs> to nest in. <laughs> Just me, eh? right? Um, so that's that. We don't need you in the water. So I'm going to wet the face. I'm going to start lathering. Um, I've put some, I'm going to use this thrown in stone again, put some in the bottom there. I'm not going to bloom it, nothing like that. And we're going to get going. That's beautiful. So weekend again, eh? Okay, do we need anything there? No. So we'll get the brush, one, two, three. So it's wet, but not dripping, and we'll go in. We may need to add water. I'm not sure of it. Can you see that? Nice scent. So it's a floral scent. 
Yeah, this water lily, so it's a you know, type of lily scent, I suppose. Because I'm only used to this type of lily scent, but uh, floral. Nice, quite a light floral. So it doesn't take long. Nice brush, good backbone in this for a ball. We'll add a touch of water to the brush. Just turn the light then, sorry. That's bad, isn't it? Can you see it? Right? Blur to me, this, this close. Yeah, so I'm going to try the old 316 with a feather blade. There we go, that'll do. That's perfect. We can always go back. Okay. Nice wet face. Mmm, feels nice and soft that. It's a ball brush. Noble ball. Um, so it must have come from a royal estate. It's noble. <laughs> and it's um good backbone, but it feels very soft. Lovely soaps these. This is high-end stuff. Italian made, of course, Tuscany, I think. Tuscany. We're gonna heat the 316, bring it to room temperature. <laughs> I'm gonna stick it in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees. It's all right, I haven't gone silly in that. Well, I have gone silly in that. Non-adjustable three-piece piece of engineering, beautiful. Feather blade, here we go, how does it feel? Oh wow. That feels beautiful in there for me, because a feather, in usual razors I use, Unusual razors. There's always that bite for a feather for me. But this feels nice. It doesn't feel as bitey as sharp. Especially on the first use sort of thing. Very impressive. And of course this soap contains the uh, A very expensive ingredient which is used in cooking as well, very saffron. So, um, as I say, it's some top notch uh, ingredients going into it. I can't get over this razor. I'm just so surprised how it's so it looks the same. You think, yeah, it's going to be Edwin Jagger, the same head, but so different to the well for me anyway. So different to the Edwin Jagger D eighty nine, which we all sort of base our opinions on. No effort, no pressure. And that is gliding through those whiskers. Yeah, I would never say eyes closed. I wouldn't say that was a feather. That feels for me. That feels lovely. Wow. Right, slickness. Scent of the soap is nice. It's it's not in my face. Pardon the pun. It's um it's a nice sort of yeah, just a sort of mildish scent, floral. Yes, it's a. It's 
floral sort of a powdery floral scent you know that type of thing and as I say I would never choose a floral scent usually but it feels very it feels it smells very nice and good quality what's this thing here a bit of saffron probably so reapply we're going to go for some more water just to see how it behaves I thought I could hear a dog then So have you had a good week, health-wise, work-wise, holiday-wise, retired-wise, whatever. I hope so, and I hope you've had some good shaves. Yeah, it's nice, I like that. Wow. Just shows you, don't be afraid to use things you think you wouldn't like, or you wouldn't pick, usually come out the old safe zone and try something it's, it's nice I know it's a high-end soap but beautiful right here we go very impressed with a feather wow I feel I can't describe this this razor makes it feel so tight and close it's good stuff and again if you look after these things hand downs to children to sons grandchildren if they're looked after they'll last a lifetime Using a feather. Don't often use the feather. Can you see this? Enjoying myself too much and being selfish of the camera. Yeah, excellent slickness. And that scent's not getting any stronger, it's just nice. Wow. <laughs> So what's on the agenda if you're not working this weekend? And again, thanks for your service if you are. Much appreciated in whatever sector you're in. You're home, you're out, family, birthday, wedding, christening. <laughs> Keep going till I find the answer. I'm gonna add more water again, make it wetter, see? Yeah, I see these bits. That's a bit of soap I haven't, uh, that hasn't, it might be, um, what's the name, seeds? Hmm. So the brush. So it's lather, I mean, it's a, it's a sort of a soft crop. Uh, this is. I suppose if it was in a cooler, climate it'd be a crope you know you could touch it but it would still be soft um, but uh, the brush loads up nicely it doesn't eat the soap and then keep it I think it gives it out it looks nice so it's doing its job and as I say very impressed with that uh, brand new dry Scent very welcome. 
because as you know if you've got a ball brush some of them can smell as soon as you wet them they smell like a damp pig um, which they are obviously but uh, oh they were third pass 316 feather abate elamantea money and we're painting our own picture here look I've caught there look see didn't feel that here we go go against this Another thing when you use a sort of a good quality razor, automatically you tend to feel safe somehow. I don't know, is, is it, it's like similar in a car. If you drive, or if you've paid a lot of money for a high-end car, or you just get to drive one, you feel the quality and you feel safe, don't you? It's, it's, it's funny. Same with razors. Yeah, I have here. Two dots. So what's the weather like in Italy, I wonder at the minute. Nice close shave. Well, uh, Sunday dinner is going to be something different this week. It's a, uh, I'm doing a lamb, uh, lamb, <laughs> lamb curry yesterday. Um, a beef stew in the slow cooker and um, obviously I'll dice I bought some um, beef steaks for casserole steaks they're called um, so I'll dice them I've got some onion I got some leek, um, maybe a few peas in there. There'll be carrots. Um, I've got some, uh, what have we got? The spices, La Provence, sort of mixed spices. Herbs, I mean, spices, herbs. And I've got some rosemary I'll put in. And then I'll make. Uh, Make it so that the sort of gravy of the stew is nice and thick. Um, and I make so much, I can put some in the freezer and some for Monday, which will taste absolutely because it's marinated. So um, I'll make a, a nice uh, mashed potatoes with that, boil some potatoes or steam them. I will probably boil them because I need them in the pan mash them up i'll add either butter salted butter or some olive oil and then separate sea salt um and have that with it so that's my sunday dinner so there will be lashentos of gravy but it'll be all contained obviously made with it part of the stew part of a sauce wow that's nice but you know what time it is now? You know what time it is now? Wow, that's nice. Nice slickness, this gliding. Okay, bear with me. Bear with. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It's pickup time, Teresa. Ha <laughs> ha that's got it. Love the way you say pick up time baby with me, Teresa, and give regards, uh, give nudge to squint. Regards to you both. <laughs> a couple that watch the videos. Um, she should have a laugh with her, hopefully. <laughs> so, um, yeah, pick up time baby. So, we'll just, I'm not going to add anything, I'm just going to go. Yeah, so there's a few bits in here. Like, um, I'm not sure what they are. Would they be the saffron or something? I'm not sure. But uh, they're, they're nice. They're not. Well, they're meant to be there, obviously. Unless they should have been uh, 
brought down a little bit more. So using the old feather works a treat in this so I can see why they supply it even though it's not my go-to blade uh, it works for me in this and one of the lights has just gone with the bulk on red light flashing the batteries <laughs> we'll have to excuse the can you still see me that's not a bad thing I'll have to have a word with the stage manager, it's not on. More than enough slickness, just adding water now. More than enough slickness to do this. That's a sign of quality. Cold water rinse. <laughs> ah, we do some silly things. Eh? Always remember the three L's or four L's life first one life is for living laughing and loving if you can yeah four L's lavender floral theme lavender Thayers and I was trying to think of what sort of a floral aftershave I've got and as I say I'm not a flowery floral scented person is normally the uh, musky the barber shop the aftershave cologne type scents but very nice very impressed with that so what have I chosen I use this for a while Alpa uh, Clavan Clavinsk I can't even wait a minute. Convalink Con Convalinka. Convalinka. So Lily of the Valley scent. That's if you can get to the top off of course. I've had these so long. I had these off uh, Steve Farragher when I visited him in Liverpool on one of my visits. Kind of haven't smelt that for a while. <laughs> Goes well with this. Nice. Really nice. I'm not so sure you'd like the old flowery bit, but uh, you're having it. Okay. Lily of the Valley. And then, because I haven't used it for a while, Soap Commander Integrity Unscented Aftershave Balm. Sorry about this light situation. It's come back on now, is it? Well, that's strange. What's going on here? Oh, it might be a warning to um, change the batteries, but it shouldn't come back on like that. It could have overheated because there's a new light that I haven't tested. Yeah, no scent, basic scent, just cream scent, cream base. Nice cream, though, nice and um, doing this job. Wow, that feels nice. So there we go. That's the result. Won't make you good looking, but make you damn happy and close shaved and feel great. So Edwin Jagger 316 full stainless steel, three piece non adjustable using the brand new feather, slight overhang, very slight, worked a treat. 
Um, didn't feel as sharp as the feather does for me in usual razors. It felt very, well, brought it down a touch, sort of, well, we kind of tamed it, if you like, slightly. Um, and it cut through so tight and close, just really nice. So impressed, very impressed. Um, lovely brush, bore brush, Abate Elamantea Crocos brush. Um, worked a treat, uh, felt soft. There was no, no scent, no bad scent. It was a lovely scent from the box. Um, I thought that was a nice touch. First time I've ever had that. Really nice. The Thrown in Stone Scuttle. We've used the Abate Elementea Monet um, soap, crop, whatever you want to call it. Beautiful, good quality. Includes a saffron, that type of stuff. So it's high end ingredients. And it was a high end shave, to be fair. And I've caught myself here overdoing it. Didn't feel it though. Felt nice and smooth. But that's me. Don't stop shaving till the red stuff shows, baby. Uh, so great stuff. Thank you from Italy. Um, feather, I've said the feather. We used cold water to rinse. Thayer's lavender. The Alpa. Conlavin, Col <laughs> Lily of the Valley. Calvin Lavinska. Lavinska. And, um, oh, I, soap commander. Integrity. Non-scented after shave balm. And that is it. I'm going to have some beef stew. If you want to come round, let me know plate will be ready thank you very much have a great weekend have some fantastic shaves and just thanks for the chat thanks for being there it means a lot and it's much appreciated from us both so uh, have a great weekend what's left of it and i'll see you on wednesday for the midweek shave take care all the best <laughs>